single day in 79 AD, the entire city of Pompeii was buried by a massive volcanic eruption. Ash and lava covered many secrets of life in those times. Secrets which would remain hidden for 1,500 years. One recent discovery there has challenged history. Could this be the earliest Christian cross entombed in the very heart of Roman decadence? No ancient civilization could match the grandeur of Rome. Even her outlying towns bear witness to the wealth of the empire. Most of her monuments have eroded, but the city of Pompeii is the one place where the past of Rome was sealed in the earth and not lost. Wall paintings give us a glimpse of life in Pompeii. The city as a whole gives us a large window, looking into a single day of that era, 1900 years ago. The city was preserved because it was built right next to Mount Vesuvius, a dormant volcano. On a morning in August 79 AD, the volcano began to rumble. On the day Pompeii was buried, great winds of change were sweeping across the old world. A thousand Egyptian dynasties had collapsed. Rome had crushed Israel and conquered Europe. Followers of the new religion Christianity were worshiping in secret from England to Jerusalem. In distance and in spirit, no city could be much farther from the Holy Land than Pompeii. It seems impossible that in only 25 years, Christians had begun to convert the people of this city, people who thought Mount Vesuvius was a god. Edward Bendel, professor at the American University in Rome and an expert on Pompeii, believes the ancient Pompeians were fooled by the deceptive quiet of Vesuvius. Here in this moonlight crater of a dormant volcano, there is a strange silence, broken occasionally by the sound of falling rock. 2,000 years ago, it was perhaps as quiet, for men had lived on its slopes for centuries. They worked the rich volcanic soil, producing rich farms and fine vineyards, making some of the best wine known to the world at that time. With a natural harbor nearby and a mild climate, Pompeii prospered. The volcano would rumble, but the citizens ignored the danger. Vesuvius had never erupted, they believed, and no one suspected it ever would. They had no idea they were living on a time bomb. The events of 62 AD might have given a warning. But no one associated the violence of the sudden earthquake with a nearby barren crater. Were the gods cursing Pompeii? Should the city be abandoned? Scientists and priests came all the way from Rome to resolve the question. Science, however, was not highly developed then. They consulted astrological charts searched for obscure references in the writings of ancient philosophers. And for this life or death matter, called in a consultant to double check their results. He was a highly respected professor of augury, who could predict the future by reading the entrails of birds. What seems like primitive superstition was, at that time, the most reliable method of research. The augurer carefully measured the liver or the gallbladder, 
comparing the size and shape to classic norms. He concluded Pompeii was safe. All the experts agreed. Remarkably, no one noticed the volcano had begun smoking. Deep within the earth, however, pressures were mounting. Pompeii was given one last warning. In the middle of August 79 AD, the wells went dry. Underground water had shifted, generating tons of pressure deep inside Vesuvius. Then came August 24th. black cloud of volcanic cinders and ash shot miles into the air. As it seems, many of the people did not flee. None of them had the slightest idea what a volcanic eruption was. complacent citizens, it was too late to escape. Sulfur fumes killed many on the spot. When the eruption ceased, three days later, Pompeii was 30 feet under volcanic ash and rock. The Roman Empire fell. The Middle Ages passed, Columbus discovered America. All that historians knew about Pompeii came from fragments of old Roman records. It was remembered only as a typical pleasure-loving resort. When the lost city was found and excavated, however, surprising evidence for the first Christian cross was discovered, sealed deep in the earth. Pompeii's place in history is quite unique in that in one day it was completely hermetically sealed. In other words, time stood still. In 1710, in the shadow of Vesuvius, the lost city of Pompeii was miraculously discovered. A peasant named Giovanni Nocerino set out to dig a new well for his farm. The village dowser had directed him to a promising spot. 30 feet down, he still hadn't hit water and was about to give up. As long as anyone could remember, local legends told of a fabulous city buried far underground, teeming with gold and jewels. No one could remember the exact name or location of the city, but they believed it had been part of the ancient Roman Empire. Giovanni sold the marble to a dealer who realized it was both very old and valuable. The two men returned and continued digging in secret. They found treasure beyond their dreams, 
not only statues and coins, but an entire city that extended for miles. The strange soil was so soft they could dig with bare hands, yet firm enough to tunnel in all directions. They realized the old legends of a lost city were true. After 50 years of treasure hunting, diggers made a chance discovery.